I know Chiggs is in here recording. So. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy Dash from the Chiggs Move channel. CS gang, turn up in the comment section. We got a crazy one, man. Stephen A. Smith. Man, he even roasting your boy Zion bad, man. Damn bad to the point where other news outlets has also picked this up, such as Charles Barkley and Shaquille O'Neal talk about their weight loss journey when they were a young lad in the NBA, where they had different things going on. I'll play a little clip. I want to make some points about Zion. Okay. It's not run hard. It's not a disc. It's going to be a lesson from one great big man to another guy that could be a great big man. Just not run hard. I had the same problem my first second year. I thought I was running hard. Because Charles talked about this all the time. My talent going to get me 20. But when I start going to 20, 30, and 40, it's because I start doing certain things. He doesn't create easy points for himself. I saw a couple of times we had a couple guys at the basket. He don't seal, right? He doesn't demand the ball. Like, you got a small guy, and we talk about all the time, barbecue chicken alert. Charles talked about all the time. You can't let a little guy guard you. And he doesn't have that look. I'm about to play with Stephen A. Smith said, and then we're going to play with Zion said. Zion Williamson, he looks fat. He looks fat. While LeBron James had dropped 30 in three quarters and had completely dominated and looked in peak physical condition, Zion Williamson, who's more than 15 years younger, went to the free throw line. I saw a belly. When he took a deep breath, his belly bounced. That kind of belly. I mean, damn. But you look like you showed up to the game having just ate a buffet. Not something from the buffet, the buffet. Like you ate the damn table. Get in my belly. That's what I saw. I know they got a weight clause in this contract. They got to. He got to be violating that. So he's addicted to food. I'm speculating, but it's got to be. But Zion Williamson in basketball parlance is fat. It's got to change. Uh, if it comes from a great place and a place where they just want to see me do better, Thank you. But if it comes from anywhere else, everybody entitled their own opinion. Can't control that. Man, what do you guys think, man? I mean, is Zion really that dedicated to basketball? Or do you think, you know, he just having a hard time losing weight? I mean, like some people are just built a certain way. And to tell someone that they shouldn't be eating is crazy, man. Is this considered fat shaming at this point? I mean, he said that man will eat a table, man. Like, at what point, it got to be slanderous to say certain things like this. Zion actually responded with a huge game. So it wasn't the fact of him not having the ability to play very, very well. And, yes, he's been sidelined by a bunch of injuries that are probably conducive to his size and weight. Pause is necessary. But, man, like, what do you guys think, man? In the comment section below, let me know, man. Should, should Zion just move out of New Orleans to get away from all that great food? Or you think it's a mentality thing that he needs to be working on? Or should we just accept Zion for who he is at this point, right? He's a person who cannot lose weight. We've seen it before with former NBA star Eddie Curry, where he had a bunch of promise and literally could not stay out of the kitchen. And that what really sidelined and derailed his career. But let me know what you guys think below, man. It's your boy Dad from the Chick Moves channel. I'm out.